Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. We had an absolutely crazy Friday of footies once again. I need to break it all down with you guys as we look into this Saturday on FIFA 22. Just like expected, we had a very Brazil-centered promo dropped yesterday with objectives for the dynamic duo, exactly the same car as we thought we were going to get. The footies Brazil cupped. Basically, everything yesterday went according to plan. Except for one thing, and that was the foundation pack that did not end up being dropped into the store. I'm not entirely sure why, but we will take a look at that and talk about that in this video. Of course, the SPC for Rafinha dropped yesterday. I've already completed his card. He's very, very good. And he has some insane long shots, but he was PSG as we hoped he would be and not Real Sociedad with that five-star skill upgrade, GG EA Sports. But what I want to do in today's video is kind of break it all down for you guys again. Take a look at what happened on the market because there's a lot of crazy movements from yesterday. I made a decent amount of coins, actually traded a little bit, but also lost some coins as well because the cards that are back in packs, EA actually re-released some cards from batch one into batch two it's not like batch one is in packs by now and batch two it's like a combination of those is what makes up batch two so we'll talk about all that and what to expect today on saturday inside of fever 22 so if you're enjoying footies hit the thumbs up and of course subscribe if you are new let's start off by taking a look at um you know the best of cards in packs because this was a big talking point yesterday and honestly having the 82 plus player pick available yesterday was unbelievable uh, packs were so craftable and the pack weight with not 100 but 150 special cards in packs was absolutely insane but one thing we noticed right away and a lot of you guys noticed now as well is some of these cards from batch number one like saint maximin right uh yeah right there saint max usman dembele some of these cards that were in batch one were also re-released into batch two and that affected their prices a lot specifically take a look at this coutinho right we were hoping for some of these brazilian cards from batch one to go out of packs well we didn't really consider that ea might be re-releasing some of them into batch two so they're actually staying in packs and that has dropped a lot of these prices so yesterday was a crazy madness on the market because a lot of cards dropped even further that had already done, gone down a lot specifically cards from batch one that were re-released in batch two and there was also a lot of panic and rebound right Vinny, of course was 1.7 mil he just does not get packed that much so he got panic sold i bought one at 1.8 at the content drop time and sold him at 1.95 his price kind of rebounded but it's also crazy in the fact that it's just it just comes down to pack weight is what it simply comes down to because a guy like Vinny, who's 96 rated who only dropped like 100k. He was he was 2 million coins before the panic selling and now he's 1.9, right? He dropped literally like 50 to 100,000 coins. 96 rated card. Jude Bellingham is also a 96 rated card. This guy is down 500,000 coins from being released back into packs. He was 830k, one of the best midfielders in the game. It's just crazy how pack weight changes things in this FIFA. And it just seems like this Jude Bellingham had insane pack weight yesterday. I packed him out of my 84 times 25. I saw so many people packing him from player picks. Now, I'll be honest, a 50% drop off in price. Actually, more than that. Like, he's down 500K. That's more than a 50% drop off from an 800,000 coin card. I do think this Jude Bellingham is probably getting too cheap. But, you know, I'm not going to even think about buying this card until the supply stops. I thought 500k was going to be pretty cheap, but the supply just kept coming. And, you know, it's it's still coming in as I'm, as I'm watching this card drop right now. Now, I'm recording this a little bit earlier than normal. Usually, I record these videos at like, you know like 3, 4, 5 a.m. UK time. It's, it's only like uh, 7 p.m., 8 p.m. UK time. Sorry, that's off. It's like 10, 11 p.m. UK time. So I'm recording a little bit early today and they're still running lightning rounds. They're running a, well, okay, they expired. They were running an 85 uh, star pack lightning round just a couple uh, during this last hour that has expired. So here's what I would have to say. If they keep running the lightning rounds and you're watching this video and you're like, Nate, that Bellingham card is even lower. You know, for some of these cards that were in batch number two or that are in packs right now, one thing that I, I remember from last week was Maybe we can take a look at this Coutinho and it would show on his daily graph. These guys dropped a bunch. They were really, really low on like Sunday and Monday. He was 370K on Monday. And then by the time we got into the middle part of the week, a lot of these guys rebounded back up. If, you're, if you remember even like Lucas Mora, who was a Brazilian card that was 
in packs last week in batch one his lowest point he, he was down to like 150k but by tuesday wednesday he was actually 180,000 coins so i think that these batch two cards could continue to drop today but i think some of these cards like with jude bellingham being dropped so so much in, in price it's crazy uh that he's dropped that much like some cards might have their ultimate low point if we get more lightning rounds like in this friday night to saturday time frame but I think also the fact that the whole Brazilian mindset and the, the push for the Brazilian cards is on this game right now, I think that's hurting the Jude price as well and probably helping a card like Vinny on this game. So 150 special cards in packs. Honestly, it's a W. The only L part about this is if you bought cards, and I'm in this boat, if you bought cards that you thought were going to go up or you thought you had the lowest price for a batch one card like Alan St. Maximin, Usman Dembele, and now, of course, they have gone down further in price because they are back in packs. Usman's not down that much, but some of these other cards have dropped a decent amount. But the W part about it is if you do any 82 plus player picks right now, which these actually expire today. And what I'm really curious to see today is, um, is EA going to just re-up this? Because last Saturday, a week ago, is when they dropped the 82 plus player pick and they dropped the 80 plus Premier League player pick. Are they just going to re-release this today with the same requirements? Because that's what I hope that they do, but I don't know. And since it's footies, maybe they're just releasing the player picks early. We're used to getting these on Mondays. Last week, it was a surprise on Saturday. It wouldn't be a surprise if they just re-release this today. I really, really hope that they do. Now, what I'm also curious about is you remember the 80 plus Premier League specific player pick from last week. This week, it's all about Brazil, right? And this campaign player pick is incredible. It's a really great value gamble. You can get insane cards in here. I've seen people pack Vinny, Marcelo. Like, it's great. And it's a really, really cheap 84 rated squad. It's nice to do and it's fun. And it fits in perfectly with the Footies Cup, uh, Brazil Cup that's going on right now too. I'm really curious to see if they do like a Brazil specific player pick because have they ever done in FIFA a nation specific player pick upgrade pack i i can't recall a time where they have i know they've done a lot of league specific stuff but this is kind of like all about brazil so i'd be really interested today to see if they do drop a nation specific player pick today to be something to watch out for and hopefully they re-release the 82 plus player picks because these are i mean obviously they're hit and miss as always but the amount of fodder like i packed multiple tots cards today multiple high rated items just because they're so many special cards in packs right now at the moment those were fantastic. We also had the footies batch two player pick yesterday. This one's a bit more expensive. It's an 85 squad with 70 chemistry. Not terrible, but I think your Brazilian player pick, just like the Premier League one was better last week. I think the Brazilian one is better this week. 86 plus player pick is still nice. So that's kind of what I'm thinking in terms of packs. I wouldn't expect anything super new today. I don't remember if they dropped a new player pick last week. I think they did. They dropped some sort of other pack last week on Saturday too. It was like three or four days in a row where they dropped a brand new type of player pick. So I would expect maybe even something, another gamble type of player picker pack today uh, on this game. Now, the one thing I want to talk about that we didn't see yesterday, and I was, I was pretty sure on it in yesterday's video, and we didn't actually see it dropped, was the pack code that we looked at last night for the foundation packs. And as of course, as I look in here, there's no foundation packs here. Now, I don't know when this, these are gonna be dropped. I was actually really surprised that EA did not drop this because every single time we've seen a foundations pack added to the code, it's obviously dropped in packs like on a Friday. And that's always a pack that people open with coins or with FIFA points on a Friday at 6 p.m. And it didn't happen yesterday. So I was kind of excited to open this and it, it didn't drop. So hopefully they drop it today on Saturday or at some point through the weekend. Again, the whole point of it is to take your Brazil squad to the next level. That's what the pack says, right? And if this footies Brazil Cup, which it, it's only a week long, you know, then hopefully they're giving us the chance to increase the, the level of our Brazil squads pretty soon because we have to keep playing these games and keep grinding in that mode in order to you know get a higher win total and, and get better rewards so this i think hopefully comes today but I'm, I'm just surprised that it didn't drop yesterday unless they're gonna i don't think this is an sbc like that's the type of pack that is always in the store so hopefully ea dropped that today on saturday as well and then speaking of objectives just a little bit longer um the dynamic duo is great mateus cunha five star skills is a w um the ren and lodi's card is, is pretty nice as well both really good items i think some people are saying that ren and lodi is not that good 
but evidently people love this Renan Lodi and they're doing his SB or they're doing a subjective because the Marcelo left back captain's card is absolutely dying on the market and that would be uh, him being back in packs and this card being out would be 100% um, just it would it would kind of make sense on how, why that he's that card is dropping so much and I think people are doing this Renan Lodi because he, I mean stat wise he does look really really good now i tried a few games in brazil cup today i mean man and man is it sweaty it is real sweaty out there so if you're grinding at ggs I, I don't even know if i'm going to end up getting 27 wins but i like that there's like multiple player picks and packs in line here at the top like even if you get to 18 wins you get a pretty good pack uh a one of five 84 a one of four 85 plus like i'm going to try to get it cl as close to 27 as i can but you're you have to go like 80 percent win rate to win that whole thing and that's pretty hard to do, let's be honest, right? That, that's pretty difficult to do. But we love the idea. Everybody's rocking their Brazil teams right now. And I think that EA picked the best nation to do and to focus on a specific nation for this week. I feel like they did a really, really, really good job. And I think that Brazil was the perfect one to do. France would have been okay too. But Brazil with the five-star skills, it just made sense. And I, I like the branding around it. It's fun. This team is fun to use. That's for sure. So enjoy that mode as much as you can. Now, as we talked about in yesterday's video too, the foot champions time frame is messed up. But because of that, EA Sports said, okay, we're going to extend the event a whole 24 hours. So basically what we are working with this week is the normal champ schedule that we had during team of the season where champs started at 8 p.m. UK on a Friday and it's going to end in the early morning hours of, of Tuesday. It's going to end Tuesday morning for most people. Um, and I mean, I kind of like it because it fits my schedule better. Personally, I'm going to be able to play Sunday night and then on Monday of champs, like on stream, that'll be a lot better for me. I haven't started yet, but I will be starting those pretty soon and I I'm a fan of it. So let me know what you guys think about this. Did it really impact the market today? I don't think so because I think what people did was right after content, they went and started working on the objective or they went and started working on the Brazil cup and they weren't super worried about not being able to play champs. That wasn't that big of an issue for them. Also, what I want to talk about today is more Saturday content that we could see. If I remember correctly, last Saturday, we did have the Caballero, uh, the footies favorite. So I think that we might be getting a new footies favorite SBC today since they dropped Caballero last week on Saturday. It would be this guy. This was the this is the only leaked card that we have right now that has not been released. I think this guy might be dropping in the game today. So keep your eyes out for keep your eyes peeled is what they say, right? For a right wing Chiesa. December Footies favorite SBC. Just the normal Footies card, not a footies premium, just the normal one. So that's something to watch out for on today's game as well. Now let's talk about market a little bit because you know, the market is going all sorts of different ways right now with you have cards that got re-released back into packs that went down, causing people to lose coins, cards that are, you know, in packs, but they're actually up. It, it, it's crazy with the demand of this Brazil cup. Like, you know, I was talking about the Eder Militao. We were watching his price all week. This Militao card is actually an item that I made a lot of coins off with yesterday. In the first hour, I saw this Militao all the way down at uh, 340,000 coins. I think I picked up like six or seven of them uh, at like 335 to 340. And I just sold them all right around 400,000 coins because he rose specifically for those Brazil uh, footies cup links. Now, why did I choose Militao? And I was also watching Marquinhos and he had a very similar fluctuation. He went from like 240, 250, uh, all the way up to, I think about 300,000 coins where he actually over 300 K yeah, over 300,000 coins for a bit. So the reason why I went with Eder Militao, um, and in, in my quick flip trading yesterday was because what other Brazil center backs got released yesterday, really nothing, right? There were no other new either SBCs or objectives for a center back. And if you think about Brazil center backs that are the best ones in this game, Militao and Marquinhos come to mind. And people are going to go out and they're going to pay the big bucks to rock a center back like this if they don't have him because that um, cut mode gives such good rewards. So that's why I kind of traded with Militao. That's why I traded with Vinicius Jr. A lot of your Brazilian cards yesterday were just where the hype was. And if you know, if you didn't make coins yesterday and you were trying to, or, you know, something like this, the best advice I can give you is on a Friday like this, um, or any, any promo Friday, trading with the cards that are 
in demand the most, whether it be for a specific game mode, whether it be because, you know, regular, just a normal weekend of weekend league. But if it's a, let's, let's say a new card drops via SBC and, and people want to link their items to him, right? We had, we had like all of the demand this week on Brazil because we had the Rafinha card, which is cracked and a really, really insane card. Only what's Footbin say? 140,000 coins for this Rafinha card. We had the objectives, Mateus Cunha and Lodi. So like this week, it was kind of like almost obvious to try to focus on Brazil cards for a quick flip trade if you were going that route. Uh, but other weeks when we have really good SBCs, think about uh, cards that would link up to the SBC player that could potentially go up after people get the SBC done and then they go out and, and build their teams and play weekend league. That's the kind of stuff you want to be trading with on promo Fridays or just cards that are really rare in general that are always in demand. So that's why I went and I traded with uh, traded with the Marquinhos. But even like this Cancelo, right? Earlier this week, I was like, guys, if you have this Marcelo at 290,000 coins, please sell this card. And he went all the way down to like 230, I think. He was 231. He's now bouncing back a little bit. He's 250. But I think with Renan Lodi and the fact that he's back in packs, that drops his price a ton. So, you know, there's just moves like that everywhere on the market right now. Some of your out of packs Brazilians like Thiago Mendes, I forgot to mention him in yesterday's video. He is up even further, going from 90K all the way to 110. He's right now at 100,000 coins. Yeah, it's just a combination of cards that are in packs dropping. Oh my gosh, Fred is 50K. This guy's down like 50% as well. Uh, Cause he was like 100,000 coins yesterday before he got re-released back into pack. So it's this, this time of the year when you have these re-releases of cards coming back into packs, it always just gets, it, it, it gets crazy. The market goes nuts and it's really hard to navigate. But also at the end of this game too, we're just having fun, right? And I think that takes this thing a little bit out of it. Like for me, I bought a Marcelo trying to quick flip yesterday at, at 800,000 coins because he was 900K, he was down 100 and he was starting to get rare. And I was like, oh my goodness, I'm gonna sell this guy. But oh, as, as time kept going on, he just kept dropping, which makes sense because of the Ren and Lodi. And he was packed a lot yesterday. It seems like so many people packed this card. I even packed this Marcelo yesterday, like what the frick? So that kind of happened to him and made his price go down. So I'm losing coins too, but it's the end game. And, and you know, that's just kind of how it goes in the end game sometimes. Now, if you do want to make coins, this is still your best bet right here is the SBC fodder because 80, all the loads, your cards are up gold rares right now because of player picks being so hyped are all like 1.4, 1.5K. 83s are like 3000 coins a piece. 84s are like six to 7K. Some of them are 10,000 coins. 85s are like 10k, 86s are 16. What we have right now is we have our lower tier fodder is all exploding. It's really, really high. But then the jump from the rating up is getting really thin. It's kind of like, think about it like a traffic jam, right? We have all of these cards, 85, 86, 87, 88, and 89 are all within 7,000 coins of each other, right? A 10k, 85 rated card and a 17 to 18k, 89 rated card they're just, there's so many fodder cards that are just jammed into this one area. And really where most of your demand is right now for fodder is in the 83 to 84, 85 range because of those SBCs requiring the lower tier squads. So one thing I would watch, if you're waking up on Saturday today and you're looking at this, you're like, Nate, 84s are like under 5K. If they drop at all from late night lightning rounds or whatever, I think it would be a W, W idea to go out and pick up 84s if you see them drop under 5,000 coins. I know it seems crazy, but I think 84s, they could even go to 7K this week, 8K. I mean, that's almost basically where they are now. But if you see low flow 5K, 5.2, 5.3, I would even say that that could be a good pickup on card prices because as we have more SBCs this week and more hype and less demand, the only day they ran lightning rounds last week was on Friday. Unless that changes this week and they run a little bit more, the supply is going to get thin again, and we're going to continue to have good SBCs, and these guys are going to go up. Now, for the higher tier stuff, you know, it's just tricky because there's so much supply, and look how low high-rated fodder is. 92 Depay is 30,000 coins, and all of these cards that are in packs are just pushing fodder lower and lower and lower. 90 Sterling is 22K. It's ridiculous. Tomorrow on Sunday would be like maybe another chance for an Icon SBC to make that higher tier fodder go up. I, EA is just gonna have to release an SBC that is requiring 88, 89 rated squads to make any of that stuff go up. So unless they skip the 93, uh, like re-releasing a 93 plus and give us a 94 plus, I don't see the high rated fodder moving that much. 
um, again, unless EA release some really high rated SPC requirements. So just watch the 84s, watch the 85s, and honestly watch the 83s too. If you're trying to trade with fodder, I know it seems crazy to buy an 84 for like that high, like 6K and, and, or 5K, and it's an investment when they were like 3K a month ago, but that's where we are in this stage of the game. And watch on your Brazil cards, Brazil out of pack specials. I bought this informed Neymar at 300K, sold them at 370. If any of these guys drop down, some people will sell cards after they play their games and you'll see some fluctuations. 360 right there on that Neymar, right? Be ready to trade. If you want to try to trade in this market, I know it seems silly for some of you guys like Nate, I don't want to do this. But if you do want to trade at all, watch the out of packs market with your Brazilian cards because those will fluctuate a lot. So it was a mental day, but we, we really like the content. I think this is really good content for the month that we are in. We're getting plenty of gamble packs. We have plenty of opportunities to do great cards for SBCs, and I really don't have any complaints. My only question is, where's that Foundations pack EA Sports? It better be soon. So let me know what your guys' comments are down below in the comment section. Let me know how you're feeling about this game and everything that's going on. We're still awaiting a little bit of compensation for a couple of the things that happened with like weekend league rewards and with the Danny Alves situation. But Danny Alves is back in packs again as a part of batch number two which by the way if you want to see the whole list of those cards i'll put that link in the description and you can see it more there but i hope saturday is at least somewhat hype saturdays are usually quiet hopefully ea re-release those player picks today and maybe give us a new sort of gamble pack and hopefully they release either kiesa and the foundation pack or both of them but that's going to be the video for today guys enjoy your weekends with a delayed weekend league if you can push it off enjoy your weekends if you did enjoy smash thumbs up Subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.